Use the orcs and use not. Hi guys, it's uh, Drunken here. Uh, basically talking about Talisman. Everything about Talisman. Best game ever. Uh, better than Magic. Better than Necromunda. Better than Battlefleet, Gothic, you name it. Talisman is the game to go to. The hidden gem, if you like. Uh, basically, Games Workshop bought the rights to this uh, back. They actually, this is probably their first game ever made, um, to my knowledge, before Rogue Trader, before Warhammer. This is probably the inspiration, if you like. Um, and some of the miniatures you can find on eBay and stuff, which was part of the original board game in the 80s, go for absolute arc, like 30, 40 pounds a piece. Um, because they're so rare, uh, some of the pieces. In saying that, this is about the digital version, uh, which is pretty much almost exactly the same as the board game. There's a few tweaks here and there because of modernization to make it more fair, balanced, etc. Uh, because some of the old uh, cards were quite brutal, um, and people like to uh, have a fair playing ground, uh, if you like. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much about the gameplay because uh, a part of the video, uh, basically uh, right after this, is gonna show you how the game runs. Um, so yeah, uh, sit back and enjoy that. Some of the reasons before I show you is uh, like this game is because uh, one, it's easy to uh, play. Two, it's um, easy to set up uh, but it does take a long, long time to set up, and it does, uh, it does um, take, yeah, it takes a long time to set up and play. Uh, but once you get going, it's like, yeah, you, you enjoy it. It's about two to three hours a game, uh, the board game, if you like. But yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's kid friendly. It's easy to play, so I highly recommend it. So without further ado, if you like, uh, here is the game. And I hope you enjoy it. So basically, this will tell you how to play the game. Um, it goes through uh, his stats and his alignment, everything, part of your character card. Um, if they do or do a physical copy of this again, it would be exactly the same. Uh, in fact, uh, it basically, they copied um, second edition, two third and fourth. If I remember rightly. So the Pathfinder, he's an event that you pick up. Basically, you have a massive deck of adventure cards uh, and you just pick them up. It tells you on the board, uh, pick up one between three. Um, and then after that, you uh, continue. So then um, basically, the Pathfinder, for example, lets me move anywhere in the regions. So there's three regions. The outer, where the uh, Witch Doctor is, the middle, uh, where I am in the center, which is like the boss level. Um, we go through our spells. I begin the game with two spells as part of my character. I have alchemy and counter spell. So there's a massive deck of spells. Um, also there's my stats, uh, basically, uh, strength craft. And then you basically, you roll a D six and you add that to either a strength monster or a craft monster, depending on what you fight. Uh, you also have lives, which is basically if you lose a combat, you'll normally lose a life. Fate points, which basically lets you re-roll uh, a dice if you're not going to win or you don't like the result. Um, and then gold, which you can buy stuff in. So there we got the mystic here. He's just rolling now. Um, and he's enjoying himself. He rolled two, which means ignored. I'm moving now. I get to pick three cards up in this special space. So I've got the Cryomancer, he's got the Craft 3, a Sword, and a Pouch. So now I roll, blah, 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 it tells you there. Uh, so basically I roll, because there's a Psychic phase. He has Craft 3. I roll a 2, which makes me 7. He rolls a 5, he adds a 3, makes him 8. So I obviously don't like that, because it means I'll lose a life. So I'll spend my Fate Point, uh, which makes it a tie. Which means that it's obviously a standoff. It sits on his. Um, it sits where I encountered it, and if anyone lands on that space, they have to fight that monster before they can get the treasures that I also picked up. Uh, werewolf card basically means that we've got a follower, which is no followers at this point in the game, and gold. Uh, it also depends on what character you play, because 
you certainly start with different uh, craft. I'm just showing you quickly the crown of command, that's where you aim to be. And then the central part where the door is, uh, you basically move one step at, at a time and pass these trials. It's starting with the portal of power. Um, so you need to be a certain strength and craft to actually get in because it's not worth your time actually trying to do it. So this is later down the track. Uh, I've got a few more items and stuff to show you. So some more spells, spell call, hydra and uh, storm crow. Storm crow basically lets you fight in your place without losing a life. Some items, uh, talisman is what you need to actually win the game, uh, which is part of the trials. Uh, armor lets you roll, not lose a life if you roll high enough. Boots uh, lets you, if you roll a six, you can cross the river because you can't access the middle without fighting the sentinel or go through by other means. Here's the other guy, he's got some items that lets you change your alignment and certain weapons will not let you be equipped unless you change your alignments. So he's got that uh, wand which you need to be evil to use so he changes the alignment. Here's some uh, followers he's got also. So the mercenary, he pays a gold and you'll get three extra strength in combat. So yeah, I'm also doing quickly the um, trading for trophies. So. I'm trading for the monsters that I've slain in combat in a total of seven points. So four plus five is nine. So I actually, you don't actually have to trade the exact number, but it's worth doing that if you want to accumulate more. Early on in the game, it might be better to just trade in for seven points so you can kill those harder monsters. But yeah, you only trade strength for strength points and craft for craft points. And finally, this is just sort of the expansions to the game. Uh, it is now owned by Games Workshop. This is the Fantasy Flight version, um, which I don't think they're going to change anytime soon. But yes, you can see all the characters. Also, you can buy... Woo! Cortisan! Um, but, and they have, like, humorous abilities and things. Um, it's quite a really good game. Very simple. Uh, and I recommend you getting it. Um... This is the sort of thing uh, I think um, should be played in the shops and stuff at um, Games Workshop. Uh, it's easy to learn and kid-friendly. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick, quick uh, review and thanks for watching.